Welcome back to the deep dive. Um, today, we are going to be rolling into the world of electric unicycles oh. with a deep dive into a live stream from Duff. Okay. He's a popular EUC YouTuber. I've heard of him, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So he covers a lot of ground mm -hmm. from EUC News and deals to some interesting thoughts on AI. Okay. All sprinkled with his own personal stories. Sounds interesting. It is. It's a pretty good live stream. Yeah. So Duff's live stream is a great way for us to explore mm -hmm. not just the tech, but also the trends. Right. And let's face it, the drama yeah, well, yeah. that makes the EUC community yeah. so lively. For sure. Okay. Let's unpack this. Okay. Duff kicks things off by talking about some amazing EUC deals. Oh, really? Yeah. So he mentions the InMotion V12, mm -hmm. which is a high-performance wheel. Yeah, that one, yeah. Being offered at just $999. Wow. Which is crazy low. That's a steal. What do you think is driving this price drop? Well, it's well, unusual yeah. to see a price drop this significant right. on a high-end model like the V12. Yeah. This could mean that in motion is trying to clear out inventory okay. to make way for newer models. Oh, that makes sense. Or perhaps they're responding yeah. to increased competition and yeah. in the EUC market. Yeah, that's a good point. For you, this is a great opportunity yeah. to snag a top tier wheel uh, at a fantastic price. Yeah. But it's always wise to consider yeah. the context of these You're deals. All right. Like yeah. is there something else going on? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Speaking of new models, uh -huh. Duff dives into the controversy uh, oh. surrounding the NASFET Apex. Oh, yeah. I've heard about this one. This is the highly anticipated wheel yeah. with adjustable suspension. So much hype. Yeah. The Apex has been generating a lot of buzz, mm -hmm. but it also seems to be experiencing uh -huh. some classic early adopter woes. Yeah. Remember Matt from Wrong Way? Yeah. Another EUC yeah. YouTuber? Uh-huh. Well, during his initial testing, mm -hmm. he actually encountered a broken suspension linkage. Oh, wow. Yeah. And in his full review, yeah. Matt highlighted a bunch of other issues, mm -hmm. like problems with the firmware, mm -hmm. sticky stanchions, uh, which are a key part of the suspension system, right. and less suspension travel than NASFET advertised. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's a it's a bit of a mess. Yeah, that's a shame. To be fair to NASFET, mm. they've been pretty open about acknowledging these problems. Well, that's good. And have assured everyone they're working on fixes. I mean, that's something. Yeah. It's an interesting strategy, though. Yeah. Do you think this transparency I don't know. will ultimately help or hurt their sales? It's hard to say. It's a risky move. Yeah. Like, are people going to be scared off? Or are they going to respect yeah, their right. honesty? Right. Who knows? Yeah. Now, for a bit of EUC community drama. Ooh, here we go. Duff mentions that some folks from the EUC forum, okay, guys like Dale, Larry, and Simon, mm -hmm. were banned from the official EUC Facebook group oh. for a seemingly simple reason. Oh, okay. They joined a rival forum oh. called Unbiased EUC. Wow. I know. That's a bit extreme. Right. Wouldn't you say? Yeah, I think so. Seems like a classic case of the tribalism yeah. that can crop up in online communities. Oh, sure. Especially those centered around niche interests. Right. Like EUC. Like EUCs, yeah. Yeah. It definitely raises questions about censorship yeah. and how differing opinions are handled right. within these spaces yeah. to lighten the mood. Okay. Duff shares some of his personal stories. Okay, good. I like these. He talks about trying to set a speed record uh -huh. on his InMotion E20. Okay. Which resulted in a crash. Oh, no. It's clear he's not afraid to push his limits yeah. with on and off the EUC. He sounds like a character. Oh, yeah. He also recounts his experience yeah. with double margaritas. Oh, yeah. Let's just say it didn't end well. It did not end well. Oh, dear. These anecdotes give us a pick mm -hmm. into Duff's personality yeah. and his sense of humor. Sounds like it. I thought it was interesting how he contrasted okay. his minimalist Christmas decorations this year oh. with his ex-girlfriend's elaborate style okay. from last year. Right. He seems to be embracing a <laughs> less is more approach. So minimalism. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. It seems like he's finding his own way, okay. not just with decorations, yeah. but also with his approach to EUCs. I like that. It's about individuality, mm -hmm. which resonates with the overall spirit yeah. of the EUC community. Right. Now, on a more futuristic note, okay. Duff dives into a fascinating discussion about mm. artificial intelligence. Here we go. 
He used AI to animate a still image oh, wow. of Marty Backer, oh, another man. EUC YouTuber. I know. And even cloned his voice. That's where it gets really interesting and a little <laughs> unnerving. Right. We're seeing more and more applications of AI. Mm -hmm. And the EUC world is no exception. Yeah. While AI has the potential to personalize training, mm -hmm. create customized writing experiences, mm -hmm. and even enhance safety features. Right. There's also the potential for misuse. Exactly. Yeah. Could AI-generated content be used to spread misinformation? Oh, yeah. Or manipulate people's perceptions of EUC brands? Well, that's scary. Yeah. It's a question we need to consider. For sure. As yeah. this technology continues to evolve. Yeah, it's moving fast. Yeah, and we need to keep up. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. It's a. It's kind of like the Wild West out there right now yeah. when it comes to AI. There's so much potential, right. but also so much uncertainty yeah. about how it will be used. For sure. It's definitely something to keep an eye on, um. especially for EUC enthusiasts. Now, getting back to the EUC community, okay. Duff shares a story about being banned oh, no. from the EUC forum himself. Love. Apparently, he posted a photo of himself. Riding with a giant moth prop. Really? And some people found it racially insensitive. Oh, wow. I know. It does seem like a bit of an overreaction, yeah. especially considering the photo was meant to be humorous. Right. But it highlights yeah. how easily things can be misinterpreted online mm. and how sensitive people are to potential offenses, yeah. even in lighthearted communities right. like the EUC world. It's a reminder to be mindful yeah. of how our actions and words mm. can be perceived online. For sure. Even when we have good intentions. Absolutely. Speaking of intentions. Yeah. Duff also talks about his efforts mm. to grow his YouTube channel. Oh, okay. He mentions trying out different strategies. Like what? Like running paid promotions. Oh, okay. And even hiring someone in India wow. to help with SEO optimization. Mm, interesting. It sounds like he's putting in a lot of work yeah. to try and reach that magic 15,000 subscriber mark. Right. It's a reminder that creating content is only part of the equation for YouTubers. Mm -hmm. There's a whole business side to it as well. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's a competitive landscape. And yeah. creators are constantly looking for ways to yeah. stand out and attract viewers. To get those views. But behind all the marketing and algorithms, there's yeah. a genuine desire mm. to connect with an audience and yeah. share their passions. Right. Which is what I think Duff is doing with yeah. his EUC content. He seems like a genuine guy. He certainly seems passionate about it. Yeah. And it's not just about mm. promoting specific brands or products. Yeah. He also talks about the importance of finding yeah. what works best for you mm. as an individual writer. Right. Whether it's choosing the right EUC, uh -huh. developing your own writing style, or <laughs> even deciding how to decorate for Christmas. Yeah. I like that. That's all about personal expression yeah. and finding your place within the larger EUC community. Right. And that community is constantly evolving yeah. with new writers joining, new technologies emerging, right. and new trends shaping the landscape. Absolutely. Duff touches on this evolution. Right. Right? He discusses right. the InMotion V12 price drop. Mm -hmm. He also mentions selling two of his own wheels, okay. a Sherman S yeah. and a secondhand patent. It's interesting because it suggests a growing secondhand market mm -hmm. for EUCs, right. which makes sense as more people enter the hobby right. and newer models are released. Mm -hmm. It also makes it more accessible for those who might not be able to afford right. a brand new top of line wheel. Exactly. Yeah. Duff also talks about his experience yep. with the Shift Robotics Moonwalkers, uh, which are essentially motorized shoes. To see those. He wasn't exactly impressed. Oh. He found them expensive. Yeah, they are pricey. Loud and not as functional yeah, as he'd yeah. hoped. It. It's a good reminder that yeah. not every new gadget right. lives up to the hype. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the technology just isn't there yet yeah. or the execution doesn't meet expectations. It's easy to get caught up yeah. in the excitement of a new product launch. Right. But it's important to do your research. For sure. And consider whether it's truly innovative yeah. or just a novelty item. And sometimes the most valuable insights mm -hmm. come from real world experiences. Right. Like Duff's crash while trying to set a speed record. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. It's a reminder that EUC writing, while exhilarating, yeah. does come with risks. Right. It's important to know your limits, uh -huh. wear proper safety gear, always wear a helmet, and ride responsibly.
Yes. And speaking of responsibility, let's circle back to the issue yeah. of online conduct and community dynamics. Okay. You know, Duff also mentioned mm. that he had a run-in uh -oh. with a solar panel leasing representative who was slow to follow up. Oh. Yeah, he was initially interested in the solar panels, Okay. but ultimately decided against it yeah. because of the rep's lack of responsiveness. It's funny how something as simple as communication you know, right? can make or break a deal. Yeah, it's a good reminder that mm -hmm. even in the digital age, mm -hmm. personal interactions still matter. Absolutely. Building trust, yeah. being responsive, mm. and following through on commitments mm. are crucial, whether you're selling EUCs, mm -hmm. solar panels, or anything else. It all comes back to relationships. And it highlights the importance of clear communication, yeah. especially online. Right. Duff was banned from the EUC forum for a photo that was misinterpreted. Yeah. And he lost out on a potential solar panel deal uh -huh. because of poor communication mm -hmm. from the sales rep. It's all interconnected, wouldn't you say? Yeah. These seemingly separate incidents yeah. actually touch on a common theme. The importance of clear, respectful yeah. communication yeah. in both our online and offline interactions. Absolutely. Yeah. It's about being mindful mm -hmm. of how our words and actions right. can impact others. Yeah. And being willing to engage uh -huh. in open and honest dialogue. For sure. Even when there are disagreements mm -hmm. or misunderstandings. Yeah. It's like it, Dove's experiences both online and offline yeah. underscore the importance of being thoughtful mm -hmm. and considerate right. in our interactions. Yeah. It's a reminder that mm -hmm. even in a fast-paced, tech-driven world, yeah. human connection still lies at the heart of it all. Yeah, for sure. It's easy to get caught up it is. in the technical specs and performance metrics yeah. of EUCs, mm -hmm. but ultimately it's the people yeah. and the shared passion right. that make this community so special. For sure. And Duff's live stream gives us a glimpse mm. into that human side yeah. of the EUC world. Absolutely. He's not afraid to show his vulnerability. Yeah, like crashing his EUC. Or admitting to one too many margaritas. Oh, yeah. Or That's... sharing his experiences Rex with online drama. Exactly. It makes him relatable yeah. and authentic. And that authenticity shines through mm -hmm. into his approach to EUC writing as well. Yeah, he encourages his viewers right. to find their own path. Mm -hmm. To choose the gear and writing style that works best for them. Yeah. And not to get too caught up right. in trends or what other people are doing. It's a refreshing perspective in a world that often feels driven I know. by hype and the pressure to conform. It's about embracing individuality mm -hmm. and finding your own sense of joy yeah. and freedom right. in the EUC experience. So as we wrap up our deep dive okay. into Duff's live stream, yeah. what are some key takeaways? Hmm. Well, I think we've seen mm -hmm. that the EUC world is dynamic yeah. and ever-changing. For sure. New technologies are constantly emerging. Like the NASFED Apex. Right, with its adjustable suspension. Yeah. And yeah. AI is poised to play an even bigger role uh -huh. in the future. We've also seen that the EUC community, yeah. while passionate Very much so. and enthusiastic, uh -huh. can sometimes be prone to uh -huh. drama and infighting. A little bit, yeah. It's a reminder that online interactions can be fraught with misunderstandings. Right. And it's important to be mindful of how we communicate with each other. But beyond the technical advancements yeah. and the occasional drama, right. there's a real sense of camaraderie mm. and shared passion yeah. among EUC enthusiasts. For sure. And that's what ultimately makes this community so compelling. I agree. Duff's live stream captured a snapshot yeah. of this community in action, its mm -hmm. highs and lows, its triumphs and challenges. It did, and it reminded us yeah. that even in a tech-driven world, mm -hmm. it's the human element mm -hmm. that truly matters. I think that's a great point to end on. Yeah. So as you continue to explore the world of EUCs, mm -hmm. remember to embrace your individuality, yes. ride responsibly, yeah. and engage with the community yeah. in a positive and constructive way. Absolutely. And keep in mind that this deep dive is just a starting point. It is. There's a whole world of EUC knowledge mm -hmm. experiences yeah. and perspectives out there waiting to be discovered. So get out there, explore, yeah. and find your own path in this exciting and evolving community.